phenylketonuria, aka PKU. Most people affected with PKU's ancestors came from Northern Europe. Not too many people whose ancestors came from Africa have PKU. So then, what do phenylketonurics look like? You would never know that the kid in the blue had phenylketonuria. Phenylketonurics look like normal people, sometimes with paler skin. Okay, well how do they inherit PKU? Both parents have to carry a mutation in the PAH gene for their offspring to have PKU. Because PKU disease is a recessive disorder, their parents may not be affected by it. But don't worry, only one in every 10,000 babies has PKU disease. Every baby is tested at 7 to 10 days old for PKU disease using a urine or blood test. If a baby with PKU goes untreated, it could cause retardation. This test is called the GU3 test. How to deal if you are diagnosed. You can take a blood test every month to make sure your phenylalanine levels aren't high. Why should phenylketonuric's fee levels be low? People suffering from PKU disease cannot metabolize the phenylalanine in their bodies. A defective enzyme PAH fails to break it down. But what happens if their fee level is high? The person can have mood swings and irritability. Other symptoms are seizures, nausea, vomiting, rash, light hair and skin, aggression, depression, and being hyper. What to do to keep fee levels low? People with PKU disease maintain a fee-free diet, which means they eat food with very low levels of protein. A fee-free diet contains grains, potatoes, fruit, vegetables, breads, and pasta. If a person with PKU does not follow the diet, they can end up with brain damage because their body cannot metabolize all the high levels of fee. This diet is the only cure to PKU disease. No Diet Coke for you! This diet is very restricting. Many food labels show signs of fee and that means they cannot eat this food. 